Hi, my name is Jeff Poe, field engineer with PPI. Today, we will be discussing the proper installation of XT bushings. To begin, you will want to get well familiar with the O&M manual available on our website that includes the installation instructions for XT bushings. Now let's identify the components and tools needed for installation. We'll need to identify the proper size bushing that we'll be working with. We'll need to identify the cap screws for that size bushing, the key stock, flathead screwdriver, her impact hammer, her ratchet with a proper size socket for the cap screws, and a torque wrench. Let's begin the installation process. To begin, we will want to make sure the shaft is installed properly into the pulley and the key stock is inserted properly into the keyways of the shaft. Once your shaft is aligned properly into your pulley, you're prepared and now ready to install the bushing. Today we're working with an XT30 by 2 and 15 16 bushing. We will, uh, before installation, make sure the um, the OD bore of the bushing is polished with emery cloth and free of any burrs or nicks, as well as the ID bore of the bushing. In addition, you'll want to make sure the shaft has also been cleaned and free of any burrs or nicks. And the ID bore of the hub is also polished and free of any burrs or nicks. Once all of those areas have been cleaned, you can insert the bushing onto the shaft. You'll want to make sure the split of the bushing is in the 12 o'clock position. Next, you would want to take a wedge and drive it into the split of the bushing. This increases the bore of the bushing slightly to facilitate uh, inserting the bushing onto the shaft and into the pulley. You will align the keyway in the bushing with the key stock in the shaft. and position the bushing into the pulley. You can remove your wedge at this point and make fine tune adjustments, further seating your bushing by hand into the hub of the pulley and aligning the holes of the bushing with the holes of the hub of the pulley. Once you have your alignment set, you can insert your cap screws PPI uses grade five cap screws on all XT bushings. Snug all cap screws by hand. Then take your, your wrench or your socket and begin tightening the bolts. You'll want to make sure to follow the bolt pattern as indicated in the O&M manual for XT hubs and bushings. In this case, we have an XT30 with four bolts. We're going to begin with the upper right bolt and begin to tighten. We're going to move to the lower left following the bolt pattern as indicated in the O&M manual. We're going to come across the split to the lower right and then across to the upper left. We will continue to follow this pattern, snugging the bushing with their wrench, pulling it into the hub of the pulley. Now we are prepared to torque the cap screws of the bushing. You will want to be sure to follow the torque ratings for the size bushing cap screws that you're installing. In this case, we need to set our torque wrench for 46 foot-pounds and we will begin the torquing of the bolts following the bolt pattern as indicated in the O&M manual. You will continue this process until the proper torque has been met. Once all cap screws have been torqued, your bushing installation is now complete.